From Studio E at Einstein Healthcare Network in Philadelphia, this is Health and Wellness. Hi everyone, I'm Kiran Warren and this is my co-host Dr. David Jaspin, Chairman of the Department of Obstetrics and Gynecology at Einstein Healthcare Network, and this is the Women's Health Show. On today's episode, we are discussing how to choose the right OBGYN physician for you and your daughters. Dr. Jaspin, let's get right into the questions from our viewers. What is the best approach to choosing the right OBGYN? So to me, it's about trust. It's about trust, communication, and education. OBGYN is a very difficult field to go into because you have to build that trust almost immediately. And just because a mother likes their doctor doesn't mean their daughter will like the doctor. Just because the mother wants to be seen by a female, the daughter may not have a preference. So really it comes down to the personal decision that each person has with that provider, that physician, building an alignment and a relationship and how you feel that you can build that trust with that person. Now you talked about mothers and daughters may not liking each other's doctor. That's the next question that I have. Should a daughter go to the same OBGYN as her mother? So it's a great question. What the daughter has to understand, and the mother has to understand too, is what we speak about in the room is confidential. Regardless of age, I have a responsibility to the patient in front of me to maintain that confidentiality. If the daughter asked me if I'm going to tell her mother, I would have to know that it's okay with the daughter to give the information out. And so we really do our best and we try every day to maintain that confidentiality. And I think that patients understand that and appreciate it. For mothers who have daughters, when is the right time for a daughter to visit a gynecologist for the first time? So it's a great question. The first time the woman should be seen is whenever there's a problem. The first time a woman needs a pap smear, back in the day it used to be around the age of 18 or within three years of her first sexual activity. Now the first time we see a woman for a pap smear is at the age of 21. But she may have other gynecological concerns, questions before that. Many times we see patients just because when the mother has a conversation with their daughter, we hear about a lot of eye rolling and, oh, mom, I don't want to hear that. And so the mother may bring the daughter for a talk with a gynecologist. Is there ever a period in time in a woman's adult life that she may consider switching to another doctor? It's really a personal decision a woman has to make at that time. My opinion would be if she needs a surgical procedure that's an advanced procedure that her doctor is not performing or hasn't performed recently, then the doctor should offer that to the patient. Hey, you know, you need this procedure. I don't do it as frequently. I don't do it at all. And I'd recommend you see somebody else. Unfortunately, in the field, many people retire at the same time, and they may need, the woman may need to choose a different doctor for that reason. And finally, how can a woman assure herself that she's seeing the, the right physician for her particular health needs at various stages of her life? So there's a lot of advocacy the woman could do for herself, understanding what tests she might need. And she can also check with her insurance company to ensure there are tests that she might need to ensure that she's maintaining her health to the highest degree as possible. And then when she goes to the appointment, making sure the doctor is indeed ordering such tests, or at least discussing the options. Thank you, Dr. Jaspin. Be sure to watch more episodes on this topic and other issues of interest that affect women and their daughters on the Women's Health Show. We'll see you next time.